What's going on, everyone? My name is the Game Killer here. Welcome back to part 10 of our Dragon Age Inquisition Let's Play. Now, when I left off, me, Kassan, Colossus, and Varric, that, that's your name, right? Yeah, I think that's your name. Uh, we just we went to Val Royale for something. What, what was it about? It was something about the Inquisition. An arrow with a message. Okay. Wait, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. Is that shot straight into the ground? That would mean someone was like... Ah, never mind. Wait, can I re-examine that? Damn it, damn it. Uh, journal? What? Uh, damn it, I wanted to... I wanted to see where is Valio? Do I? Oh. Well, uh, looks like I can't reread that one. Sorry about that, guys. I didn't. I didn't mean to skip it. I, just, I thought I could re-examine it. It was up for like two seconds. So if you guys really do care about me, now you can just go back and pause it. Uh. Damn it, I wanted to read that too. Oh, okay, what am I doing? What was that? Wait, can I fast travel now? That's where I want to go, right? At the war table, yeah. Okay, hold on, before I do that then, so I can have actually have my, the quest that I'm doing right now in Val Royale, let me, uh... If I might have a moment of your time. I, I just want to leave and turn in my quest. I'll, I'll be back. Grand Enchanter Fiona? Leader of the Mage Rebellion. Is it not dangerous for you to be here? I heard of this gathering. And I wanted to see the fabled Herald of Andraste with my own eyes. If it's help with the breach you seek, perhaps my people are the wiser option. Uh... You weren't there? I'm surprised the leader of the mages wasn't at the conclave. Yes, you were supposed to be, and yet somehow you avoided death. As did the Lord Seeker, you know. Both of us sent negotiators in our stead in case it was a trap. I won't pretend I'm not glad to live. I lost many dear friends that day. It disgusts me to think the Templars would get away with it. I'm hoping you won't let them. Uh, will you help us? Does that mean the mages will help us? We are willing to discuss it with the Inquisition at least. Consider this an invitation to Redcliffe. Come, meet with the mages. An alliance could help us both, after all. I hope to see you there. Au revoir, my lady Harold. Oh, you're French. Okay. Come, let us return to Haven. I, I just want to end my quest. I'll be, like, right back here. Why is it blink? That worries me for some reason. I know it's part of the loading screen, but the fact that the little logo in the bottom right of the loading screen blinks, it kind of bothers me. Excuse me, sirs and madams. Just gotta follow the path. Okay, you too. Why are there always cutscenes? I just want to turn in a quest. That's it. It's good you returned. We heard of your encounter. You heard? My agents in the city sent word ahead. Of course. 
It's a shame the Templars have abandoned their senses as well as the cavern. Uh, at least we make contact. We know how to approach the mages and Templars now. Do we? Lord Seeker Lucius is not the man I remember. True. He has taken the order somewhere. But to do what? My reports have been very odd. We must look into it. I'm certain not everyone in the Order will support the Lord Seeker. Or the Herald would simply go to meet the mages in Revelry instead. If you think the Mage Rebellion is more united, it could be ten times worse. Ah, uh, we should meet the mage. Uh... I th I want to go with Templars. Let's go with Templars. I think the Templars are worth investigating. I agree. What could the Lord Seeker be up to? We shouldn't discount it. The mages may be worth the risk. They are powerful, Ambassador, but more desperate than you realize. But they could be useful. After the Divine's death, they're probably scrambling for allies. If some among the rebel mages were responsible for what happened at the conclave, the same could be said about the Templars. True enough. Right now, I'm not certain we have enough influence to approach the Order safely. Then the Inquisition needs agents in more places. That's something you can help with. In the meantime, we should consider other options. There is one other matter. Several months ago, the Grey Wardens of Ferelden vanished. I sent word to those in Orlais, but they have also disappeared. Ordinarily, I wouldn't even consider the idea they're involved in all this, but the timing is curious. <laughs> yeah, who are those people? Grey Wardens. I'm not familiar with them. They're an ancient order that has existed to fight Darkspawn invasions since the first line, thousands of years ago. They have faded since those glory days, but haven't disappeared entirely. Ordinarily, their order is neutral in political affairs, but they appear in strange places. Uh, it sounds suspicious, sure. The others have disregarded my suspicion, but I cannot ignore it. Two days ago, my agents in the hinterland heard news of a Grey Warden by the name of Blackhawk. If you have the opportunity, please seek him out. Perhaps he can put my mind at ease. And if he can't? Then there may be more going on than we thought. Can I turn in my quest now? Yes, I can. Let's go. Get summoned. I need to turn this in. I've had this quest for way too long already. <laughs> uh, you, in the perks menu, you can select perks that provide unique benefits to your party. The number of available perk points is shown at the bottom of the screen. Uh, open the new dialogue options. Get 10% chance to receive extra herbs. And a chance to discover... A uh, significant increase to the discovery range. Uh, opens up new dialogue options related to criminal activities. Grants a 5% increase in XP earned from killing foes. Uh, grants 50% XP for each codex entry unlocked. Uh, can't be captive reputation. Merchants will pay the Inquisition 10% more for items sold to them. From an expanding network of contacts among artists, suppliers, and noble patrons, merchants will offer the Inquisition a 10% discount. Inquisition proc procurers can leverage the organization's reputation to purchase a shipment of rare and valuable materials for crafting. Opens up new dialogue options related to history and enchantry. Increases inventory capacity by 15. That adds one more potion slot for all party members. Actually, that's pretty cool. Okay, where is the horse? Hold on, no, where is... Where is it? What do I do? I have to turn this in somewhere. Sure, let's let Cullen go. Go ahead, Cullen. 
Uh, scout the hinterlands. Oh. Sure. I don't even know what I got from that. Ferelden Captain Longsword. Okay, that's pretty cool. Deal with relatives of the Tre Trevelyans. Gather coin. Cult of Andraste. Before the fifth blight and the arrival of the hero of Ferelden, Haven was occupied by cultists who worshipped the dragon, one they believed to be Andraste reborn. Both the cultists and their dragon were long gone by the time the Chantry arrived to build the Temple of Sacred Ashes, but there, but there may still be undiscovered passages in the mountains containing their relics. With a concerted search effort, it might be possible to unearth something useful to the Inquisition. Okay, go Leliana. Le you do that, that'll take 11 minutes. Oh, wow. Voices on the wind speak of a new power abroad in the world. Inquisition, they whisper. An ancient name restored. A memory rekindled and transformed into a blaze of hope. I hear the whispers and summon the fires of the Inquisition. Here in the depths beneath the City of Chains, countless mysteries hide in shadow in anticipation of the light. Come, the Black Emporium awaits. Xenon, the antiquarian, must spend his days composing melodramatic invitations to his establishment. I imagine being stuck in a chair for centuries leaves one somewhat lacking for entertainment. This, oops, this particular message was hand-delivered by a cloaked figure at twilight, precisely as the sun disappeared beneath the peaks. My men spied the courier lurking about our outer gates for at least an hour waiting for sunset. A servant under the command of some very sp specific instructions, I assume. That aside, I would encourage a visit to the Black Emporium. The Antiquarian's hoard is legendary. Only those he deems worthy ever lay eyes on it. The champion of Kirkwall received an invitation once and reported, among other things, a strange mirror that could transform even flesh and bone. Who knows, we may uncover something that aids in the battle against Corypheus. Who is that? I'll open it up, but who, who is Corypheus? No, don't go there now. Did I spoil the main enemy of the game by reading a, uh... A mission description? Well, that's not good. Uh, Chantry remains. What is this? Sure, you can go. The conversation with Mother Havara and the Valerio Market had the desired effect to appoint the Chantry's condemnation of the Inquisition was lost amid a flurry of speculation over the actions of Lord Seeker Lucius, as well as the divide in the opinions of the remaining Chantry clerics. There are, however, clerics still loudly denouncing the Herald of Andraste. The Inquisition could leave them to their speeches, but dealing with them before the Chantry elects a new divine could be of benefit. Go ahead, that Josephine. And that's about all we can do, so... Did that turn it in? I didn't see an option to turn in that quest. Oh, I think I did it. I heard, the, I heard like, the quest finish... Uh, thing. Yes! Wait, no, I didn't. How do I... Hold on. Hold on. No, where is... Complete the watchtowers in the farms operation at the war table. This is the war table. Okay, so like, Champions of the Judge, Scout the Storm Code. Okay, so like, I don't see an option. Is this it? Build Watchtower. Yeah, that has to be it. So now I guess we just have to wait. Oh, that's right, because I marked the area. I didn't actually build the watchtowers. I just marked where they would be built. Okay, so yeah, now I sent them to actually go do it. Oh god, I'm about to run out of time on this first clip, so. Hold on, let me just cut the episode. Be right back, guys. Okay, sorry about that, everyone. Let's get... Where, where are we going now? Oh, hold on. Now I have to...
Now I have to go back to Valwayo to see what we were doing there. Apparently we're doing a quest called the... What was it called? A Friend of Red Jenny. Uh, how do I uh, teleport here? There you go. Yeah, let's do it. I only have... Huh, I, for some reason I like a specific order. There you go. Okay. I'm just gonna, just gonna have those up for a little bit because there's no point in me trying to read them. It goes by too fast. They give you like pages. Like that one's at least like two pages of information and they expected me to read that in like... I don't even know. How long was that? 30 seconds. Uh, okay, no. First, we need to get the Friend of Red Jenny quest. There you go. There you go. Perfect. I have to search by the dock, the cafe, and the upper market. What? Who's talking to me? You? Okay, what's the invitation? Oh. Uh, you are cordially invited to attend my salon held at the Chateau of Duke Bastion de Gislon. Yours, Vivian de Fur, first enchanter of Mo Montsimard, enchanted to the Imperial Court. Okay, I'll go there later. Right now, I got search. Le Mas de Leon, we cheered. It's probably lying, I don't know why I said it like that. We cheered when honored was their might, but many more deserve a thought, for though when she was the first of night, her kin and kind have always fought. From a plaque with a dedication, Le Mas de Lion, uh, sponsored by Princess Cor Corin's first cavalier, for those we stood beside. Favors for favors for friends. A different simple script on the back of a stable report marked with red paint. Those, oh, thank you, friends, for helping good lady Kara saw, saw those who asked about Harold enter third passage. Could not stay to see them exit. What's this dragon over here? Uh, mascot of Le Mastu Lion, named in jest but genuinely respected. The Grand Ma'am, as she is called, was the last dragon brought down by Sir Koenig. The previous owner of the cafe, a spirit and hunter, Koenig, came of age in the years following the sighting that named the era, Dragon Age. While others were quick to assume the tales of ancient Navarran dragon hunters must have been exaggerated, he tracked the gradual increase in dragon numbers and size. Koenig believed we had yet to see a true return of the beast of legend, and that the specimens of his day were young, despite their ferocity. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Reading stuff gives me XP, doesn't it? Varric move! Uh. Andraste, our lady, the sword in the fire against Tevinter, betrayed to the Empire in exchange for a kingdom. Mafaroth, now synonymous with treachery. But would Andraste have won, and if not, what would we have lost? Let us look not just at, at the act, but at the why of it. As the, as the armies of faith pierced the Imperial homeland, it was revealed not as a wave, but as an arrow. And as any hunter will attest, if your aim is not true, there is no returning to the bow. We must consider how much of Our Lady's victory to this point was against true Imperium, and how much was against the Echoes of Empire. Andraste the Inspiration may not have considered such, but Mafaroth the General fought for Homeland, not Visions. Was it victory or defeat that his betrayal held at bay? Mafaroth made the deal that killed Our Lady. That is fact. And when Andraste died, Mafaroth was gifted everything from the southern plains south. From the, from the southern plains south. How generous and impossible to hold this must have seemed. Let's look on Mafaroth and the legacy that divided among him, and the legacy he divided among his sons, not with an eye for accusation, but from a tactical consideration. For he must have known that mere rivals had never stopped Tevinter, 
What if he said about creating peers and none of this was accident? How then fared e Isavath, Evrion, and Veiled? Exerted from A History Not of Heroes, readings in the Ugly Heart of Change, collected by Philium Abard. Uh, if you guys are wondering, like, why I stopped reading for a sec, it's cause, um... Like, I'm sitting down in front of, a in front of like, a little, uh, portable TV, but my window is, like, right behind me, and it's just causing glare on the screen, I can barely see anything. Where am I going now? I have to, like, sit up straight to reduce the amount of glare. It's not, it's not too bad, but still kind of hard to see. Uh, this is the dock, I would assume. I see it! Uh, key lifted from drunk swearing about Harold. Don't know what door I'm out, my debt is paid. What, what's back there? Hold on. Got it. A waterlogged quarterly missive of suspect virtue. The Randy Dowager welcomes the blooms of spring with the collected co what does that say? Calipigian curiosers being a scandalous representation of Her Majesty's favored cotton flagrant delectable. Can their uniforms and modesty withstand the assault? The Randy Dowager expeditions for the noble of thought but spry of step. The lady herself says hardly a Tethros, but generally arousing a polished cu cuirass does it for you. And it should. Three scars fluttered in shock out of five. Randy Dowager. Reservoir stocking evaluation. Tremors floating. Tastes off. Water birds die off. Restocking failed. Fish not fit. Do not consume. Now the upper market. We go. Hi. I don't know why I saw this guy in the armor, and like the red behind him reminded me of Ornstein from uh, Dark Souls, and the old dragon player from Dark Souls 2 was uh, his reincarnation, if you'd say. Gallows Master, hold thy land, hold it back a while. Call us juror, let let me stand, let me bear a smile. For comes my brother distant, for comes my savior soon. I stand here most insistent. I will receive my boom. Fellow soldiers, hold thy voice, hold it if you may. Follow shoulders, show my choice, I am I am in your sway. For know my crime was cruel, and all my pain deserves. I stand here as a fool, despite my brother served. Mother dearest, look away, look into the sun. Others nearest, gone astray, you will be undone. For no more will I prattle, and no more will I pray. Here you must the, the rattle, and life will fly away. From songs of old or lace, she of the high wayman repents. Inscriptions collected by formerly Sister Laudine. Shut up. Where is, uh... How do I get to the upper market? It said there was a key. Where are steps? Are these fast travel areas? Those are fast travel areas. Oh my god, so much reading. Uh, Grand Duke Flo Florian was not supposed to ascend to the Orlesian throne. His elder brother, Emperor Ju Judicael II, had two twin sons and thus a very special line, secure line, excuse me. Florian was free to pursue other interests, none of which revolted around the game. Indeed, the Imperial Court largely ignored him, and that was how he liked it. All that is recorded of that era is that he married, produced a single daughter, and afterwards showed little interest in her. An outbreak of the Hundred Days Cough in the 877 blessed change his plans, both of Judicael's sons perished as if Florian's daughter. Racked by grief, Judicata lost interest in ruling, turning over all matters pertaining to the rebellion in Ferelden to his advisors, and instead spending his time hunting in the country. When Judicata was thrown from his horse during a fox hunt in 884 blessed, Florian was suddenly vaulted into the throne. Famously, he response to the sh his response to the Chevaliers delivering the news at his estate is said to be, this will not do at all. A private and somewhat eccentric man, Florian limited his appearances at court and dealt almost exclusively with members of his own family. He was extremely particular about his habits of dressing and grooming, eschewing current fashions for the sake of comfort and refusing to wear cosmetics or powders of any kind due to an intense dislike of being dirty. Powerful and connected nobles who had served in the cabinet since his father's time were turned away in favor of his younger brother, Reynard, his sister Melisande, 
and his cousins. Children were banned from the palace, even the children of servants, with the exception of his nephew and nieces, who were tolerated only on the condition that only on the condition that they remain out of the emperor's sight. Regarding suggestions that Florian and his youngest cousin Megrin were lovers, the truth is uncertain. If such a relationship existed, it was no doubt kept private due to Florian's aversion to public life and not and not from any fear of rumors. Such rumors, after all, were likely spread due to the emperor's refusal to sire, to sire another child and thus secure his line. Many believe this failing would eventually lead to civil war. The only real evidence of a relationship with Megrin is a loud and very public argument the two had prior to Megrin's appointment, or exile, as he saw it, to the throne of Ferelden. Megrin is said to have called Florian my darling, and neither man chose to explain the argument later. The predictions of civil war was almost came to pass upon Florian's death in 919 Dragon. With no clear heir, the throne eventually passed to the only daughter of Grand Duke Reynard, Selene, after a vicious struggle that threatened to consume the Empire. From the Emperor of Orlais, my brother... By brother Harlan Ascari. My god, that was a long passage. Ugh. Okay, where... What does that say? The Masty Lion. Where is Stairs? I don't want to talk to you. Really? That's a tree! <laughs> the apples need the cafe to change their taste depending on whether one is walking toward or away from the gallows, and of course they do if it tastes subject to the wit to the whims of the heart and no meal is favored as the tears, but dare it any way for none of the taste of joy such as we who do not shy from experience, from our Elysian heart by formerly sister Ladine. Where's the upper market? Who wants to tell me where this upper market is? I know this place has multiple, uh. Wait, what's that? Oh. Uh, I know this place has multiple, um. Are those stairs right there? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Varric, move! What's this? This was played uh, reserves for presentations of affection as to private and also discounted spheres presented by company Mis Mr. Vex Theater. <laughs> Am I crazy or did that guy just fly up? Did anyone else see that? I could... I cursed when I saw someone walk up and then go flying. I th uh, I'll check that back in tape. Uh, while I understand concerns for pro for property and the general dressing of the bazaar, I must caution that release is needed. Shut up. We are suffering not just ongoing civil conflict pitting brother against sister, not just outright war pitting Templar against mage, not just the loss of our most holy and the best of our leaders. We are suffering. All three, as the sky is wounded through all to see. All we know of our world is threatened, along with all we know of the next. With this most grave notation, I ask that the writs of losses and missing remain, that the citizens, however, indirectly will be allowed to post their griefs of known dead in the names of hopefully living, and with them their criticisms of, their criticisms of how they have been told or not told. For while I have no doubt we as Elysians will maintain our utmost composure, there must be release. There must be grief, there must be mourning. If not, we do not allow this simple expression. Uh, we risk a greater outburst. Let our people shed their tears and as reserved the means as, as necessary. The market will be cleared in due course, but this day, this time, we must let this simple expression stand. Written by Captain Albion, Olysian Guards, Summer Bazaar. Okay, well, before we... Varric... Solus, I mean. Okay, before we go to the upper market, I just gotta cut the episode, so be right back, guys. Okay, sorry about that, everyone. Let's, let's see if we can find this upper market, shall we? I thought I saw stairs over here. Like that. That looks to be stairs. See? That looks like stairs. But where do I go to get these stairs? Is there a door here? Where the hell do I go? How 
fast travel. Where do I go? Oh. Aren't you over there too? Hey. Okay, no, that's towards the end. Can I ride my horse in here? No, I can't. Me, he was just doing like a chant. Yeah, that can I fast travel to there are no buildings, it's literally just I had to fast travel up one. Where is this? It said it's over there. Wait, is it up another floor? No, okay. Great! I, I, ju I just... I just want to find out where my mission is. Okay, I'm right here. Maybe I have to use a different area to fast travel to. Maybe I fast travel to like the wrong side or something. Let's see. Because it is on this floor. Can I fast travel? Yeah, I can fast travel right there. Okay. Uh, behind. That was a voice crack. Uh, behind. It's right here. I see it. There you go. This crap of parchment is hastily torn from an ornate document stuffed into the, its hiding space with a large red sock. And we are to obey well. We meet at three bells to discuss how best to serve the new way. Scroll below is a misspelled script. Hail, go at time, praise Andrasse. Taken together, the messages reveal a time, path, and key to a location on the world map. Travel to the meeting point. Okay. Yeah, meeting point. Did I still take damage from that? I paused like right before I hit the ground. Oh man, look at that. Look at this that I'm not able to read in the 30 seconds they gave me. But here, they'll be on screen for you guys. Okay, who am I meeting, first of all, is what I want to know. Fend off the guards? Oh god, there are people here! I did not even notice there were people here. Hey, but we actually have, uh, combat now. Uh, I need that. Got that one. Hi there. Oh, you're an archer mercenary? You're dead. Archers don't stand a chance. Disengage. Do we do it? Did I fend off the guards good enough? Well enough, I mean. Okay, no, there's, you know. Can you please stop? I don't know who you are. You don't fool me. 
time is too important for this to be an accident. Rolling weapons will survive in victories against you elsewhere. Just say what? What the devil? She did tell you, she did tell you to say what. Squishy one, but you heard me, right? Just say what? Rich tits always try for more than they deserve. Blah, blah, blah! Obey me, arrow in my face. So, you followed the notes well enough. Glad to see you're... You're kind of plain, really. All that talk, and then you're just... First? I, mean, I have a fire good. sword. The important thing is, you glow. You're the herald thing. Yes, I am. Why? Sure, why not? I glow. What's going on? No idea. I don't know this idiot from Manor. My people just said the Inquisition should look at him. Your people? Elves? <laughs> no. People, people. Name's Sarah. This is Cover. Get round it. For the reinforcements. Don't worry. Someone tipped me their equipment shed. They've got no breaches. I like Sarah. <laughs> I, li I like her attitude in this situation. Get up, please. Why do I have two of the same skill again? My my R1 and then my other square is the same weapon. So, Herald of Andraste, you're a strange one. I'd like to join. Uh, first you have to make some sense. Could we take a few moments for sense to reassert itself? Who are you people? I'm not people, but I get what you want. It's like. I sent you a note to look for hidden stuff by my friends. The friends of Red Jenny. That's me. Well, I'm one. So is a fence in Montfort, some woman in Kerbal. There were three in Starkhaven, brothers or something. It's just a name, yeah? It lets little people, friends, be part of something while they stick it to noble things. So here, in your face, I'm Sarah. The friends of Red Jenny are sort of out there. I use them to help you. Plus arrows. Ah, uh, can you provide noble allies? The Inquisition already has friends in high places. Can you add to that prestige? Here's how it is. You important people are up here, shoving your cods around. Blah, blah, I'll crush you, I'll crush you. I'll crush you. <clears throat> Step down, you've got big lords with big purses, like the tip you killed. Or was he one of the endless arsons as we follow? Doesn't matter. His grand plan was ruined by scraps torn from his desk and a red dot by someone who couldn't read it. So no, I'm not Lord Pontybart or Ruffles, but you don't listen down here too. You risk your breaches. Like those guards? I stole their... Look, do you need people or not? I want to get everything back to normal. Like you. Uh, who exactly are your people? Why ask if I glow? Sure, let's just investigate. Petty revenge fantasies. And that might be bad? Oh, right. You want to prop that guy up so I can say my sorry? Bad things should happen to bad people. We find someone not so bad, maybe he'll end up not so dead. Good enough? But you didn't know him. Who exactly are your people? Who are your friends of Red Jenny? You must know them. Ah, oh, it's not hard to understand if you're not trying to waste your day on it. Someone little always hits someone big. And unless you don't eat, sleep, or piss, you're never far from someone little. Doesn't always work out, but a lot of people hated this guy. Someone got a laugh, someone got even, someone got paid. And someone has to have explained to them that free help is good. Why, why would you ask if I glow? To know if I glowed. Why? That's what you do, isn't it? You walked out of somewhere, and now you glow. Andraste's herald. True or not, it seemed like the easiest way to know it was you. 
true or not? Well, that's what they say, Alor. Look, don't get ahead yet. I want to help this... whatever it is. Inquisition. Yes, join. She joins it. She's a companion. Alright, Sarah. I can use you and your friends. Yes! Get in good before you're too big to lie. That'll keep your breaches where they should be. Plus extra breaches because I have all these... You have met me to buy that fish yet. Got to be worth something. Anyway, Haven. See you there, Harold. This will be grand. Where does she know where, ha where Haven is? Or how does she know where Haven is? Excuse me. Party selection. Oh, yes, I can have it in my party. Yes. I already have a, these two of Vogue's, right? Yeah. Let's get Solus and let's get Cassandra. Wait, oh, I can be Sarah. This is amazing. Contact the Templars. Wait, what am I doing now? Am I just going back to Haven? And I can't get to the world map, so yeah, I guess we're just gonna leave now. Can I aim? No, I can't. World. I can go here now. Actually, no, let's go back to Haven, and that's where I'll end the episode for now. Again, let's just have those on screen for like five seconds. Oh, okay. Yeah, you expect me to read all that. Okay. Okay, well, we're here now. And so that's all in the episode. Let me actually get into Haven. Okay. We did a lot today. We read a lot today. We read, like, what? Eight letters, a couple of books. Did a lot. Uh, we got Sarah to join the Inquisition. We killed some guards. Mr. Whatever his name was, Ponty Fart, as Sarah called him. Got an arrow in the mouth. And, uh, yeah, it was a good day. Uh, next episode we'll deal... Next episode we'll, next episode we'll probably go to the estate first that I got an invitation to. Then we'll talk to the Templars. Because estate seems like more of a side mission thing. Uh, so, yeah, we'll do that next episode. As always, my name is GameKiller. I'll see you in the next video, and I am out. Peace!